Hey Zole from Foley Photography. I'm just going to talk to you quick about how to remove sagging bellows from your 180 camera and replacing it with a broken bellow from uh, a regular land camera. First thing you're going to need to do this task or the tools you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, pliers, and 3M tape. Uh, first thing you're going to do is open up the back of the camera and take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws that are in the back there and just remove that and then the second thing you're going to do or the next step is to take your flathead screwdriver and just pull back the little prong deals right up here and then actually down the side at the bottom of the camera. You don't actually have to remove the prongs or bend the prongs back there or down here because once you have these removed there you can just put pressure onto the piece and like pop it open like so. Once you have uh, the bellows removed You are going to want to remove the screws right here. With your Phillips or flathead screwdriver and to get access to these screws you actually want to come through uh, from the inside of the camera. So you're going to put pressure on the bellows and open that up and then you actually want to pull the bellows over to the side and then take your flathead screwdriver and just remove uh, the screws like so. This way by doing it in this angle you actually can get to the screws on straight forward versus at an angle and then once you actually have that off you can slide your little uh, shutter cord out and then you actually don't have to peel this um, plastic piece out from your bellows so it's in the correct spot um, I actually have to remove one more screw um, with this replacement bellow, uh, it's not held on by screws, it's actually just held on by washers. So all I'm doing is just breaking the washers off, like so. Hoping not to damage my bellows, and then once you have that off, bellows come right off like so and now all I have to do is take the, the bellows from this camera and stick it onto my 180 the same process unscrew the screws on the inside remove the bellow prongs around the camera and then unscrew the screws over here and do the same thing and then you actually use the 3M tape around this part of the bellows so it actually gives it more of like a light seal um, that's it if you have any questions feel free to send me an email it's ole, O-L-E at p-h-o-t-o-l-e dot com thank you for watching